During this COVID-19 pandemic, a single smartphone app averted up to 900,000 COVID-19 cases in just England and Wales. This single app reached the smartphones of 21 million people and made an impact by performing automatic contact tracing and helping people stay safe during this pandemic. For every 1% increase in the number of this app's downloads, there was up to a 2.3% reduction in COVID-19 cases. This is just amazing. Around the world, 90% of people who are blind live in low-income countries, and the large majority of these cases are preventable. However, due to factors such as economic barriers, these people are simply not receiving the treatment that they need. Well, a smartphone app has been developed, which can help diagnose eye conditions in these countries. This tool costs just $500, whereas traditional equipment costs more than $25,000 and is neither portable nor feasible. With this app, we can help prevent blindness around the world. What we are witnessing here in examples like these is a revolution in how innovation is able to instantly reach people at scale around the world. It is fundamentally changing how we can solve problems for society and make an impact in people's lives at a scale unprecedented in human history. Now, to make a major impact and difference to society, we need to be able to bring together two main things. One, tools or capabilities which form a solution, and two, the ability to reach a large number of people. Advancements in technology and science are providing us with very innovative tools to solve problems. Fields such as artificial intelligence and data science are opening up amazing possibilities for us to build innovative tools tailored to solve specific problems in society. The availability of tools such as AI and more now raises the next question. How can we make these tools accessible to the people who can use them and the people that need them, whether it be the general population as in examples of social media or specialists as in the case of doctors in a healthcare setting? This requires accessibility at scale and the ability to reach a large number of people. Fortunately, we are in an age and time where smartphones are near ubiquitous. Around the world, it is estimated that there are 6.42 billion smartphone users, which accounts for around 84% of the world's population. The smartphone ecosystem has grown significantly as phones have become less expensive and more capable over the years. In some places, such as Africa and India, smartphones are more accessible than even clean drinking water. Now, back when there were flip phones, these tools were used solely for calling, texting, and overall just communicating. Now, our modern smartphones have redefined the definition of a phone and are packed with a multitude of features and computational capabilities. When Steve Jobs introduced the iPhone in 2007, he simultaneously introduced another truly groundbreaking innovation, the App Store. With this, he also introduced an app development ecosystem allowing anyone around the world to develop and distribute their apps to all the phones connected to this network instantly. Without this capability, our modern smartphones would have simply been a tool for calling, texting, and taking pictures. Apps have enabled developers to unlock the true potential of smartphones and tailor these devices to our specific needs. Now, scientists, researchers, and anyone can leverage accessibility at scale and spread their innovations to the masses. Now, my own fascination with smartphones and the iPhone dates back to when I was six years old. I still remember playing games on my mom's phone as a kid. When I was eight years old, I was first introduced to programming through simple block coding. I found this very engaging because it was fun and visual. However, as I moved on to more standard and complex programming languages, I did not have the same level of interest. This was because they were not as engaging or visual, but also because I could not really see my code come to life. My goal was to spread my innovations to people, as I was really inspired by how technology was solving major problems around the world. And this is when I thought of apps on the App Store, and how apps are so accessible, and how they reach so many people. I was determined to learn app development. 
At the age of 12, I learned to develop apps using online courses, video tutorials, and other resources. I felt motivated to continue my journey when I could really see my code come to life and when I could see my app's potentials to make a difference someday. I now have five apps on the App Store which aim to solve real-world problems and make an impact in our society. I'm also a research intern at Stanford where I aim to use apps to democratize technologies such as AI to clinicians at the point of care. Now, when developing an app to solve a problem and make an impact to society, I've broken this process into the following steps. First and most importantly, find a problem which you are passionate about so that you become more engaged in the whole process. Now, the problem you choose does not always need to be a new one. The main goal when developing an app is to solve a problem in an accessible manner so that your innovation reaches people. According to the World Health Organization, over 400 million people around the world have disabling hearing loss. And this statistic was very daunting to me. I did some more research and found out about the communication barrier between the deaf and non-deaf communities through sign language. Next, try to understand your problem through the lens of people who experience it. I think that this is a great way to really make sure that your solution makes an impact in the real world. I found out that many non-deaf people do not even understand sign language, and this creates daily communication struggles for the deaf community. And lastly, when developing your app or solution, I really recommend taking this process step by step. With all of the resources on the internet, I found that many problems you may encounter when developing your solution can be solved. I ended up developing an app which uses artificial intelligence to convert sign language into speech right from your phone. Now, even if you're not interested in app development, always think about the accessibility of your solution and how your innovations and inventions can reach people. We can really make an impact if we focus on accessibility to those in need. In a world that has come so far through innovation, we must turn our focus to reaching those most in need. With the power and the accessibility of apps and the App Store ecosystem, I truly believe that anyone can make an impact to our world. I encourage you to find a problem which you are passionate about and find not only a solution to this problem, but to always keep the accessibility of your solution in mind. We can really solve major problems if we focus on accessibility to those in need. Thank you.